Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Microsoft Flight Simulator and today we are going to be checking out the latest release of Rotorsim Pilots R44 Raven 2. I can already tell there's been some texture updates and uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing what else has come down the line for this helicopter. If you are interested in acquiring any of my Overkill's tutorial guides for Microsoft Flight Simulator, please consider joining me on Patreon. Patreon subscribers level tier 2 and above have access to all of my guides, as well as any future updates and future guides that will be coming down the road. Link to Patreon can be found in the description below. Alright, jumping right into it, we can already see that there's been some uh, development updates here to the uh, uh, avionics screen here. Definitely see some texture increases. Looks like some footboards have been put in. The walls now have more texturing, where last time it was that weird tannish brown color. The seats look fantastic in comparison. Um, back here gets a little drowned out in this area, but again, still much more definition. You can definitely tell they're going for that hard back plastic look behind the um, seats there. The seat belts have definitely been adjusted a bit. Very, very nice. It, it, that's a, this is a pretty significant update since the uh, previous version. Um, right down to the cyclic, again, that leather boot, you can see once again, starting to get some more texture, some, some reflection. Um, some of the buttons and switches up here in the top, again, looking more like buttons and switches versus just plastic draw-ons. Um, very, very nice. I don't recall all these screw heads being here last time. I think that that's uh, definitely a difference. I really kind of wish I had jumped into the helicopter beforehand, uh, before I updated, but I got super excited that it was there and jumped all over it. Um, some of the information looks like it's gotten sort of faded out. It looks like it's sort of sitting in a sheath there. It'll be nice if we can maybe uh, one day click on that and pull that chart out. I think that'd be kind of neat. Same thing with the pilot's operating manual, just for you know little touch-ups. I think that'd be kind of fun. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and see how she flies. You know what? Actually, before we do that, let's take a peek on the outside. Um, I didn't really go full depth into it. It looks like some PBR adjustments have been made, some reflections have been adjusted. The overall material definitely looks much nicer, actually. I, I'm loving it. Yeah, uh, well, okay, so you still got a couple of graphical glitches. Looks like there's some separation there that may need to be adjusted there. Um, I don't know if that cowl is something that can come off. I suppose it would. It would have to for maintenance purposes. So maybe, maybe it doesn't sit perfectly flush. I'm not con really too concerned about that. Ah, oh, I love it. I love he put his YouTube channel on his uh, aircraft. Absolutely, guys. Make sure you go to Rotorsim Pilot's YouTube channel and check it out. There it is, right there. Uh, he does some fantastic content. Keeps us up to date with this aircraft. The back venting here, the exhaust vents, look significantly better. I am kind of curious what the bouncing that the helicopter does. Uh, when you first park it down if you watch it real close it's bouncing up and down um, and, and again I don't know if that's supposed to be like a wind effect on the on the back uh, tail there causing the whole aircraft to bounce but uh, maybe that's something that needs to be adjusted in the future oh that's kind of a cool shot let's grab that one there we go I love you get those sun rays behind the lens glare that's pretty cool or lens flare excuse me well let's uh let's work some magic here and get this aircraft started up all right, so now let's start taking a look at a few things. It'd be nice if we could remove the cyclic. Um, that would be a nice feature to see come down the line, um, just because it blocks quite a few things here, but we can adjust that later. So we now have a startup procedure. Let's go ahead and get that fuel valve turned on. Are the doors closed? They are closed, okay. And then let's see here. We got a couple new buttons, looks like up here. We can remove the doors completely. Let's do that today, see what that's like. Uh, with the switch here, landing lights are controlled here, avionics switch is controlled here, and hydraulic. Now I do recall him saying that the landing lights is actually normally down here, but to make uh, life easier for us sim pilots, uh, they moved it onto the cyclic, which I think is cool. I don't think everything has to be perfectly legit. Um, I actually find it comforting when some of these developers take into the fact that we're not sitting in the real machine, and uh, you know some of the things can be a little bit more challenging when when you're dealing with it on a computer screen. So I'm actually okay with that. I really. Yeah. All right, so let's do, let's see here. We got our fuel turned on. Let's get our battery master on. And let's see here. I believe the alternate, well, let's see here. We need to turn our strobe lights on, which is the same as the beacon lights. Nav lights will come on after takeoff. 
let's see here. Is our transponder work yet? Oh, you know what? Probably comes on with the avionics switch. Now, let's see here. Do we... There's the avionics, but we don't really have engine readouts up there, do they? Nope. So everything comes from here. So I would imagine avionics comes on after everything else. So let's just go through the engine start here. Um, I know this may get a little loud, so bear with me. Oh, why can't I... Uh, oh, wait, hang on. There's our mixture control. There she goes. That initial start is really loud, but after that, it really does settle down quite a bit. All right, so let's turn that alternator on. Let's get the nav lights turned on. Now let's flip on the avionics. There we go. Oh, and there's our transponder. Let's just set that to altitude now. We are going to be doing VFR, so VFR is fine. I really like that. It looks really nice right there. It really does. And I don't think there's anything else I'm missing. As far as our configuration today goes using their Airland FS, this is a really neat application. It's a third-party application that's being used to inject the flight model into the sim. I really love that. We have realism all the way up at maximum here, and then we're going to leave our pedals and sense, uh, cyclic sensitivity to default for right now, because I think that they've changed some of that. Um, and then we're just going to take a little flight around Tucson, but bear with me for just a second. I'm going to turn the nameplates on. I'm actually not a big fan of them, honestly. So give me just a minute. All right, and we're back. So we're just going to take a little hop around Tucson, like I said, nothing too crazy. Just sort of test out, see if anything is different from the last time we flew it. The sounds are already better. You can now very easily hear the change in pitch. I love that. I love that. Sound is huge for the immersion, guys. It really is, in my opinion. I have pilot bodies disabled. Maybe that's why the uh, co-pilot isn't coming on but so that's probably it all right let me uh, sit back here reset my camera there we go that's more accurate and here we go this time nice pitch still changing as I increase collective here we go should be any minute whoa okay picked up very nicely but I need to get myself under control here whoa whoa whoa, 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 whoa. come on Mike I didn't think I was that close to the runway. Oh! Oh, no, 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 no. Mercy. Mercy. Get up, get up, get up, get up. What is the matter with this guy? Meaning me, by the way. Not the plane. Alright, here's the National Guard area. Take my own advice that less is more. I just got done flying the Vertigo for two and a half hours, so I'm a little gung ho at the moment if you catch my drift. Alright, let's bring it over here and go, uh, we'll go check out the neighborhood I grew up in. She's definitely a bit more, um, definitely requiring more to fly it than previously experienced, um, which I like. Um, I'm, I'm looking for some pretty intense difficulty, given the fact it's at 100% professional pilot rating. I like that the door is open, I really do. I think this will be a fun one to use in uh, that NeoFly app again. And we got a couple of them to uh, update here, so we got, or uh, to review here. So we got uh, this one here, and then the H145 updated too. We'll be checking that out later as well. But I love this helicopter. This is a great helicopter. Alright, let me see where I am here. I sort of got myself lost, not going to lie. Uh, da, 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 where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? I'm trying to get my bearings here. I'm looking for something and I'm not seeing it. Alright, right there. There it is. Okay, so that's Tucson Boulevard right here. So then I should be able to, yep, okay. That's one of my schools there. Is that right? Hang on a second. 
I still don't think that's right. What the hell is that? I don't even know what that is. Uh, no, I don't know where we are right there, honestly. Yeah, I am looking for things that I am not seeing. Okay. Let me reset here. I'm thinking I'm too far north now at this point. Definitely requiring, like I said, more input. A lot of... A lot of gentle movements on, on the cyclic. Alright, where am I here? I thought that was Tucson Boulevard. Maybe it's not. I think I'm actually on the wrong side of it. Hang on. But I thought that was the main entrance to the airport. But now I'm thinking maybe it's on this side. It is on this side. That's Tucson Boulevard right there. Yep, and that's a quick trip gas station right there. Alright, and yep, there's the old park I used to play in. That's my elementary school right there in front of us. So let me see here. Ooh, ooh, settle down, girl. Settle down, settle down, settle down. There's the house I grew up in. Oh, memories. Too cool. Yeah, this is actually a lot of fun to fly, guys. Let's take her back in. Like I said, just a quick little tour and let's see how she lands. And again, this is a free product, you guys. Even with the third party application injecting the flight model, this aircraft is free. And that's just freaking awesome. Uh oh, better get above the power lines. There's my old junior high and my old high school right there. I wonder when these pictures were taken. I kind of like flying this with the doors off. It's kind of fun. Nice, easy descent rate at the moment. 
Really dancing on the controls. Trying to park her right there in front of that double doored hangar there. Trying to make sure that descent rate doesn't get too fast. Alright, sorry about that. Kiddos came in to say goodnight, so I had to pause for a second. But let's uh, bring her back around here. Whoa, now I'm losing control of it. There we go. Come on. Come on, work with me. Work with me, helicopter. There we go. Let's try that again. Oof. Come on. Forward. Forward. Walk it forward. Walk it forward. Walk it forward. There we go. We're getting there. Slipping, slipping, going into the. Ah, come on! No, 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 no! Come on, baby! I'm gonna hit the hanger for crying out loud! There we go. There we go. See what I mean? Like it's definitely challenging. I think I think landing is the hardest part by far. Ah, come on! I'm trying to be gentle. I'm trying to be gentle, man. Ah! Uh, come on! Come on! We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Ooh. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I love the sound. That sound was beautiful. Anyways, guys, I highly recommend you guys check this out if you haven't already. This thing is an absolute blast to fly. Again, completely free of charge. Already a, uh, a version to update. Although, reminder, this is an alpha release. It's not even considered a beta. This is a new, new, new. This thing is a baby. Um, so uh, keep that in mind, but I'm telling you right now, this thing has come, it's just going milestones is what it's doing. Uh, Rotor Sim Pilot and the team, fantastic work. Absolutely fantastic work. And uh, I can't wait to see what the next rendition of this aircraft brings to the table. Uh, but you guys let me know what you think of the R44 down in the comments below. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next one.